lives. And now she's heating up the screen as Catherine Bell on General Hospital. Take a look at this. I'm a liar. No, you're not. Every time I lie to myself and I say, this time, someone will love me. But it never happened. Well. Will you please welcome Mary Beth Evans? Yeah. I think he's only eight. How are you doing? He's not the screen now. Uh, I know, it's very scary. I love it. She walks out and says to me, I think he's 18. He's supposed to be 18. That's Ooh. very scary. That oh, guy that I was guy. kissing, yeah. Luckily, he's not really, he's like 37, but the funniest thing happened to me when I was in the dressing room. Did I say 37 27? Well, uh, well kill me for that. Uh, no, I was in the dressing room, and I was putting my lipstick on, and um, I started breaking out in hives uh -oh. all over my face. And you know why? Why? Because I've been in love with you since I was in the fourth grade. <laughs> In the fourth grade, um, I used to listen to 45, This Is Not a Puppy Love, over and over and over again. I used to say to my mom, can't we just move to Utah? I want to just meet him over the fence. We could get a place right by theirs, <laughs> wherever that was. So anyways, well, it's a big honor. Great to meet nice you. To meet you too. <laughs> Please let me move. <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay, I'll move. <laughs> give me my so Give me my hug. Okay, yeah. All right. So you, you play Puppy Love? All the time. Do you still have the 45? No. I have, I, you see, I heard this story, no. and I want you to know something. Uh, I got this for you. Uh, and I had that. Uh, I signed it for you. <laughs> that's why I only had a record player. Yeah, that's the problem. There's no more record players. My kids it doesn't fit in the CD. There was a rap thing going the other day with that sh sh backwards record thing going yes, the other day. I yes. said to my daughter, do you know what that is? And she said, no. I go, it's a record. When they go back, and she goes, a record? What's a record? What's a record? <laughs> That makes you feel old. So she's in love with some guy from uh, Backstreet Boys, oh, Nick yes. or something. Oh, right, mm -hmm. right. So I told her that coming to see you was like her with Nick. So oh, very exciting. Fun. Now you're working really hard on a soap. Very hard. On yeah. uh, General Hospital. A lot of kissing. A lot very of kissing. Hard. But but you, you do so many shows at one we time. We do so many. It's really the lines. The lines. I have three kids. I mean, I'm not with you guys, but. Um, <laughs> who is? You know, like three. Good thing we didn't get married. I don't know about five boys. Really? Okay, Push okay. me over the top. All right. Um, and, uh, but I have the kids, and you guys know, kids and job and all that memorization. It's like 30 pages a day, and sometimes we do two really? shows. And How do you do it? It's hard. It's flying by the seat of your pants. It's learning the lines in the car. Don't anybody get behind me. You know, and just <laughs> scrambling. And you then... ever forget your lines or any mishaps? Or you any do, problems? but they, they edit as they go. It's a three-camera thing, and they, the producer, the director, taps the table when he wants the cameras to right. switch. And so if you don't say what's written then they can't follow along. So if you don't say, and if you don't learn how it's written, and they come up to you in the pinch and they say, you need to say it like this, and if you didn't learn it like that, right. then under the pressure, you could lose your mind. That's so right. I just learn it as is. Any now, you, you had some interesting things happen too. Little mishaps during oh, certain sure. scenes. Love oh, scenes. Oh, yes, I heard about <laughs> if this. If my husband watches, I'm gonna be in trouble, but I did this love scene with Steven and we had this thing and he, you know, we're sort of roaming around the room, loving each other, whatever. And he kind of crashes me into the wall, and the wainscoting is really high, and it hits the back of my head, and then we go on this bed, it falls. They have to do the whole thing over, obviously. Right. But I get home that night, and my the husband... The bed had, fell? Yeah, like the whole mattress it fell. It broke? Mm -hmm. Like in real life. Real life. Yeah, so, okay, we won't get into that yeah. one. But... <laughs> yeah, it happens all the yeah. time. So, um, I went home that night, we are going to go out to the movies or something, and I said to my husband, I have such a headache, I have to get some Tylenol before we go. And he said, why do you have a headache? I, no reason. Never mind. I'll just get that done home. We'll go. So sometimes work carries over. Yeah. On uh, Days of Our Lives, mm -hmm. you played uh, Kayla. Yes. And she was a, a nice, good girl. Mm -hmm. But now, no Pollyanna, though. Not a Pollyanna. No. Uh -uh. Okay. But now in General Hospital, you're kind of moving into the little bit more of a edgier uh, woman. How's that? It was hard at first. Days of Our Lives was like a family to me, and I sort of grew up there and had my kids when I was there, and. Um, I had left the show and had just had another baby and the producer on General Hospital said, why don't you come here? We have a great part for you. She's a villain. And I, a villain? I, I can't play a villain. And she said, you can. And 
For the t first two years I was there, I was terrified and thought I was horrible and mm -hmm. brought in my, all my really tired old little plaque awards, like from, you know, early 80s or something, best actress for something, you know, mm -hmm. um, just to remind myself that I could do this. And um, I think I just, I just didn't feel like I was in the in crowd. Everybody there had been there for forever, 15 years or something. And so now I feel, after six years, I'm equal time. And so now I'm happy. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. And I was working with Stephen. Stephen came on to General Hospital about three years ago, too. Now, you, you did something really interesting. You dropped your whole career. You, you, career. you gave everything up early on, and you moved to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody why you did that. I was in a play in, uh, at South Coast Repertory Theater in Orange County, mm -hmm. and a girl that I met on the, in the play said that her fiancé's friend was in from Chicago. They had, were medical school friends, and she was going to bring him down for the day or whatever, and my husband and I fell madly in love. He wasn't my husband at the time, obviously, but... Um, we fell madly in love, and I dropped everything and moved to Chicago. Where but you'd only school. known him a short time. Was, I, well, I met him that day, had a couple dates, and moved there three months later. What See, did, I, what I, did love <laughs> <laughs> I love what, what that. Where did you live in Chicago? Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Yes, but I lived in Wilmette. It's so fine. We could have met there. We too. could have met. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm really not wanted here. <laughs> no, I, could, um, I think it's it was so that's cute. 18 years or 19 years ago. Wow. So, yeah, How did he propose to you? Well, we had lived together for five years before we got married, and so I think he felt that he needed to do something special. So um, he rented a whole knight in shining armor costume, and oh, we were out to dinner, really? and he, he said he had to, you know, use the phone or something, and he left, and I was just sitting there, and the, the maitre d' said, there's um, someone on the patio to see you, and I walked out there, and he was, I wish I would have brought a picture or something. Oh, that would have been fun. That's, that's a big so cross. Sweet. That's great. Very it's sweet. been blissful. Pretty well, much. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show, and, and I'm, I'm glad we, uh, we could do that. Mary Beth Evans, and we'll be right back right after this. Coming up next, Donnie and Marie go back to school with Bill Nye, the Science Guy.